What's going on, y'all? Little moment of peace. Ooh, the sun's coming out and everything, too. Sorry to be out here goofy in my cowboy hat. It's just warm and sunny. Not much has happened since the last video in this video. I just ate, uh, played a bunch of guitar, hung out with the birds. You can hear they are, <laughs> as always. They love singing along. It's fantastic. I love it. I always love being able to play with nature in that way. But um, yeah, just uh, on the docket for today, uh, I was we went to do a. Um, What's it called? I went to go help the local church uh, that I go to. Well, the, the ISU church that I go to, the college church. I uh, helped them do a little bit of outreach uh, right now while, um, while the kids are coming in. Well, kids, the college students are coming in. Um, the beginning of the season essentially like they're all getting ready they're all getting their classes they're doing something uh, they have a name for it i can't remember what the name was at this moment in my life right now i can't remember but um yeah it was something but it was a good time got to kick it with some of the folks um one of the fellows that was actually going to go to that meeting that i mentioned in the last episode was there so we talked a little bit about the garden there that was kind of good it's pretty chill. Um, uh, yeah, talked to some people, enjoyed the day. Uh, about to do our little potluck thing. I wasn't sure if, what I was gonna do now. Uh, I didn't think I mentioned it last week whenever I had it, but yeah, they do a little potluck. Um, the church does. Last week I just brought some buns because it was the first day that I was out in my car again. I was like, ooh, I don't know what I can bring, you know? <laughs> um, so, uh, thankfully, uh, I, uh, I, yeah, I just brought those buns and like everything was chill. Uh, and then, yeah, this week I'm bringing some hummus, hummus and some crackers. It's uh, something that I thought I could pick up and then I thought people would enjoy. I asked them whenever I was over there, I was like, you guys think if I brought hummus, people would enjoy it? And they agreed, so that is, uh, that's the plan. That's the plan so far. I'm just here hanging out until it's time. Looks like I got uh, about an hour until it's time to actually go. So, yep, just played some music. Uh, I think I'm gonna read, maybe write a little bit. I, I did go ahead, uh, you know, I had it in my mind to essentially like reread the gospels after I'd finished the Bible just cause I felt like that was probably gonna offer some insight, obviously, you know. I think there's just a wealth and bounty to, to Jesus's words, like more than we um, ever considered, you know. Uh, I think that would be an important uh, realization from this chapter of like humanity moving forward. Um, yeah, and I'm doing my, I'm trying to do my small part, you know, uh, recognizing like uh, the garden and like everything that's being said in the Bible. But beyond that, like, I'm sure there's just more, there's gotta be more. Um, um, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing for the next couple, uh, I guess the next hour or so. And then I guess next couple of hours cause I'm gonna go to that potluck, so should be cool. So maybe I'll talk to you guys later about what we talked about and sign off for the day, but. This is this, so catch you guys later. Bye. Hey, y'all. Wanted to go ahead and sign off for the night. Um, uh, I hope I didn't do anything with the video. Sorry, a notification just came up to uh, join in Wi-Fi. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, did what I told you guys I was going to do this past couple of hours. Um, it was good good times i guess uh i didn't really get much writing done um a lot of meditation with the lord <sighs> and then i got to the yeah i went to my little study group and like it's nice it's just that i definitely i've just changed my life so much it's it's hard to relate um
yeah, it's hard to relate. Uh, and then I feel bad, I guess, even mentioning um, what it is that I'm doing or why I do the things that I do because it feels, um, I don't know, like not humble, not bragging or like, like, yeah, like bragging. Yeah, I don't know how to. And then weirdly in that same paradoxical like way, I also then deal with feelings of like feeling unworthy. Um, or just like nothing to offer. I guess it all is just not feeling safe, like not feeling safe, really. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's from like having, yeah, shared stuff with uh, one of the fellows feeling like uh, the pastor that I'm trying to talk to doesn't want to, it's like avoiding that conversation. I just start feeling like a burden. I don't know. I know I'm not. <sighs> I came back here, had like a little bit of a meditation, started reading a little bit of scripture. Uh, I was re I was reading Matthew uh, all throughout today, and uh, funny enough that like the part that I got to open up to whenever I got back here to like think about all this stuff uh, was Jesus getting tempted um, in the wilderness after the forty days of fasting. 40 days, 40 nights. Um, yeah, I mean, in, in like our little uh, study groups, we talked about, you know, we're, we're doing this thing called practicing the way. Um, I'll put the information in the description. Because um, I don't, I, I don't remember, you know, the guy that puts it on or why, you know, I'll put that in the description so you can look it up. But it's, it's a cool program. It's definitely a very cool program. I think it's supposed to add like more consciousness to like who we are and what we're becoming and what we're doing um and yeah like the, this week we were just talking about sabbath rest um spiritual disciplines i personally uh yeah um I mean, I don't know if I should say this here. I don't know, this is kind of like my personal vlog anyway, so. It's not like anybody who's watching is, uh. Like you're here of your own volition, you know? I don't know how personal I'm supposed to get on this kind of thing. Especially because now I'm talking about this, like, official stuff, but. I don't know, yeah. This is official, but it's not official. Like, it's, it's official but it's done out of love. Yeah. But anyway, I guess I'm just talking to you. I should feel safe to talk to you guys about my life here, right? But, yeah, I mean, like, I've always struggled, I think, to, I think just because I've always wanted it so much, but I've always wanted a family, right? So I've always wanted my person. I like, you know, companion for life, the person that I'm going to get to start with my family with. Um, but I've also, that's been such a, like, giant hurdle in my journey, like, stumbling block, really. Um, I think because of all this pressure I put onto it and, like, everything that's built up to be in my, in my brain, I don't know. There's a cute girl at the church that I care way too much about what in the world she thinks or how she thinks or how I am whenever I'm around her and I don't know essentially like I just don't know how to interact with people anymore because we're <sighs> I'm just pointed at a life that like not I don't think people are expecting like no one's ever expecting and like no one's ever thinking about um I do want the life that I think everybody is thinking about, but I just don't know. I don't know what that will look like. And I'm kind of just putting that, you know, setting that aside in the Lord to just trust. 
um, that I'll get there um, in whatever way that he seems, you know, he deems right, uh, even if it's something that I don't quite understand. Um, yeah. But then I don't know how to live now, you know, those kinds of things. It's like, well, I'm, you know, foregoing all of like the stability of like a regular household how can i start a family now you know like that's obviously like well i, I don't know I, like i don't want to limit my god either i don't want to limit my god either but i just don't know how that works so then anyway yeah i don't know i feel like just like this crazy guy talking about this crazy stuff all the time and you know it seemed like she was open to talking today but i scared you know that I was just gonna be weird that I was scared to even just like put myself in that place to be to find out really um it's the tale as old as time right but yeah I don't know, it just brought all this stuff out of me of like, you know, feeling like I'm like, ah. Oh. Yeah, I was freaking out in here. I was like, oh my goodness, feeling like I feel like a freak, you know? I'm like apologizing to God and like try, like telling him to rebuke me because I was like crying and I'm like, dude, I'm like, I don't know how, why I shouldn't be feeling like this because like I know that God's, God's way and God's thing, like, these are gifts. Even though they are hard. I don't know. I do know. I shouldn't say I don't know. But. Yeah. So. Reading. Jesus. And like. Remembering that like. He suffered. Beyond. You know. Anything that I could. You know. Ever dare to complain about. You know. It did make me think about, like, all that faith, you know, even, to, like, going over, you know, like, to be alone with, I guess, the, you know, and trusting that, like, we'd, we'd show up for him, you know. <laughs> it's just, that's so lonely. And I know this is a temptation by the devil. Um, you know, it's happened the other day. I was looking through old rock songs and like that um, two-door cinema club song came on. It's like, I can tell just what you want. You don't want to be alone. And like, it's a good song. But like the word, I'm like, wow, this is... This feels like a threat, you know, like even just like looking at it, it's like I can tell, just remember that I know just what you want, you know, like, and that's, it feels like plunging the knife, you know, and twisting, you know, I don't know, I know if faith overcomes, like, I, I, I have comfort, you know, this was a, a good thing whenever I was reading those scriptures yesterday, me thinking like, yeah, you know what, like all of these brothers and sisters, are with Christ right now, thank God, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I... I know this is the right path for the suffering. I guess I'm just struggling uh, here in the suffering and the confusion and I guess getting flustered in human emotion. I don't know. I do know. Ugh, stop saying that. I just don't want to say whatever it is that I need to say. <sighs> okay. Well... 
I don't know, man. I don't want to be a downer. That was kind of like just a lot to like offload on you guys. Um, love how this section's like 10 minutes. Love how this section was like four. It's great. God's forming us, y'all. God's forming us. We get to trust every step that he takes us towards, you know. Let go of stuff. It doesn't need to be held on to. Well, that's all I got for y'all today. Uh, I love you. Peace and strength be to you. The Lord's mercy. The Lord's presence. May he fill you full and give you comfort even in the hard times. May his perfect will, his perfect plan for the greatest and highest good of all, be done in your life always and forever in his name the lord king jesus christ king of kings lord of lords amen take care y'all good night